see what happens. So I'm gonna pour this. Whoa! Pick what? Okay, now we're gonna see what happens as I pour that back in here. we've had so far. <gasps> it's so pretty. Now. Is that just kind of Whoa. That's creepy. That's weird. That's the best so far. <laughs> Might not even be able to pour it all. In, in air quality as we look at acid rain and how acid rain affects things. Um, but something, uh, anytime we have acid bases, there's generally um, acid base indicators. So you've heard of pH paper before. Um, sometimes there, you might have done a lab where you use cabbage juice. But in this case, we use something called phenol phthalein, which is a pretty hard word to spell, which I have just learned how to actually spell without having to look at it over the last two days. Um, phenol phthalein. Okay, and it is an acid base indicator. And in the presence of a base, and we'll be talking about the chemistry um, behind acids and bases later um, and what the difference, but in the presence of a base, it will turn that bright pink that you saw. So I had my indicator, which was all a colorless liquid, and I added it to something called ammonia, which is a, an extremely strong base. Um, and so what we, you saw is that pink change. Um, in the presence of an acid, which vinegar is an, another colorless liquid that I started with, so as I pour that mixture back into a vinegar, um, it will change colorless in the presence of a base. Okay? In chemistry, we generally say colorless rather than clear. Um, so I kind of had a neutralization occur. So I had something very basic and I added it to something very acidic. Um, and so it, as soon as it contacted or came a bit in contact with that acid, um, that indicator changed back to a colorless liquid. 